Hello! In this video I will compare two Canon photo printers Pixma Pro 200 and Pixma G500 I will show the following in this video and you can find more printer comparisons in the upper right corner of the screen in the description you will find more info and links to more videos. Here I put key differences comparison tables for a summary. And another table with software and support information. For the start, let's see the basic specs and some info about inks on these printers. The Pro 200 is a professional printer and can print up to A3 Plus or 11 by 14 inch size. The G500 is a consumer printer and can print up to A4 or letter size. Pro 200 has 8 dye inks Photocyan, Photomagenta, Light Grey and Grey are added to the basic 4 colors The G500 is a CIS printer and has additional red and grey to the basic Cyan, Magenta, Yellow and Black ink Out of the box it has capacity for printing 3800 photos in format of 10 by 15 centimeters or 4 by 6 inch The Pixma Pro 200 has high quality feel the color LCD display is same as on image prograph models and additional features like MP tray can be used to print printable CDs, DVDs or nail stickers Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi direct and Ethernet connections can be used on top of USB Find my detailed product review video about Pro 200 in the upper right corner of the screen or link in the description below The G500 has a cheaper feel and has only one paper tray to print up to A4 format or banner up to 1.2 meter long media the display is only mono LCD but it has simple user maintenance find more about this model in my G-series playlist in the upper right corner of the screen Let's see some more details on media and driver Pro 200 supports several media sizes See my listing on the printer screen It supports professional Canon media and other media such as fine art paper Media configuration tool is available and you find tutorial on my channel on how to create your own type of media and upload it to the printer Here I put plain paper to G500 Scrolling on the screen through supported media sizes
and media types fine art rough media is supported also on g-series and creative media such as restickable magnetic or light and dark fabric iron on transfers these are available on both printers and you find my videos in the upper right corner of the screen and link in the description Let's have a look to the driver properties. The G500 has only manual duplex and you can print borderless on different formats. From as small as card size to A4 or letter size. Grayscale print can be selected. My first print will be document on plain paper, so I select business document profile for my first test. Let's switch to Pro 200. When selecting borderless print, the smallest format available is 89 by 127 mm and it goes up to A3 or A3+. You can select black and white which gives pure monoprint on pro printers and manually you can adjust color and intensity from the quick setup tab. Let me select business print and print a document on both printers. This is the document print speed comparison and official spec is only available on G500. This was real-time speed comparison and G500 was slightly faster. These are photo printers, but let's have a quick look at the plain paper print quality. There is more saturation on Pro 200 print and green text seems closer to PDF on the Pro. In general, the document quality on both printers is decent, but on plain paper these prints are not water resistant as they are on some business inkjets. If you want to see the full color water resistant business multifunctional, then check the video about Maxify GX series in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's print some photos. I will use Photo Paper Plus Glossy. Both printers offer Chroma Life longevity of printed photos. Depends on your storage. To print photos, I use the Pixma compatible software. Easy Photo Print Editor. It is also available as an app for your smart device from the App Store. For photo printing I will connect printers with USB and not print via Wi-Fi. I will print A4. There is no official speed data for A4 photo print and no other comparable specs.
photo printing has started and here I put on the screen what is officially published on websites. This is real-time photo print speed for borderless A4 format. The Pro 200 is faster in photo print. Color photo quality is excellent on both compared models in this video. Before checking the print quality, let's see the summary of the print speed so far. G500 was faster for document print and Pro 200 was faster in photo print. And finally, let's see what is the difference in the quality. The photo printed in this video was taken by professional photographer with EOS R5 camera. There is similar color tone reproduction on both models, but the red tone looks different. Anyway, G500 is close to the professional model. I have printed some more colorful images. Color reproduction of non-professional G500 model is very close to what Pro printer output is. The difference comes from the grayscale output. When G500 series print is not purely neutral. And Pro with black and white setting is neutral and gives more details like in the background of this image. Pro 200 uses three mono inks to print black and white, while G500 uses black and grey and probably mixes a little bit of other colors as well. On the other side, cost per print is much lower on G series. But G is missing some of the Pro tools available only for professional models. So what makes the Pro 200 a true professional printer? There is professional workflow, available with Canon Pro printers. From taking a photo with professional camera to editing using professional print and layout software. This topic is too long to be discussed in this video, so please find the link in the description or in the upper right corner of the screen. Here I list the key advantages of Pro 200 printer. To summarize, color photo quality is excellent on both compared models and that would be all in this video.
find more comparison videos about printers on my channel and more links are to be found in the description to the playlists of Pro and G series printers. Feel free to comment, ask questions and do not forget to subscribe, turn on the bell and you will be notified about future uploads about the printers. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.